Allie says, I'm the admin for a nonprofit teens tenant, and I have a channel calendar, another calendar question, set up in the general channel of our team. When I create a meeting and send to two specific members of the team, the invitation appears to be sent in addition to the whole team. Is there a way to stop this? Should I move the calendar to a different channel? We are not integrated with Microsoft Outlook currently as our email is hosted through our ISP. Okay. So, Gotta love it. Yes. Gotta love a calendar yeah. question. Yep. Yeah, we I, it's, we so get so many calendar questions. There should be a book. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, well, I mean, the, the issue is the, the channel. If you're having a conversation in a channel, the way that Teams permissions are set up, if you're a member of a channel, you will see all communications in that channel. One of the benefits of having a meeting in a channel is that like uh, we've tried to do this and migrate meetings, recurring meetings for project teams and initiatives into their respective channels because all of the history, all of the recordings, all of the conversations in context all remain in the channel. That's the purpose. So yeah. if you're then, you know, I don't know about the email portion of it, but if you're, you know, the, any announcement or any change, any me new meeting in that channel, all members of the channel would then see that and have access to that. I think they need to understand if you even take it back a little bit and knowing that a team is made up of a group and that group is based on a security group of people of which they're all invited in. So when you go and add in the calendar that actually it comes as part of that team, it naturally and inherently gives permissions to everyone within it. Now, if you were sending it from your own personal outlook, then you're talking about you as an individual sending out a calendar invite. But when you're using the channel that actually comes with Teams, it inherits that that's the group of people. So the moment you create something in that calendar, it will naturally and inherently then give it to everyone within it when you put it into a channel invite because it goes based on the security group of people that are included as part of the team. Right. Now, because we've got that, then what happens is, you know, you're trying to send it to two people, but it doesn't matter because if they're part of that group, they're getting it anyway. You don't need to send it to the two people. It's only if you were sending it to others outside of the team, would you then include the two people because it naturally includes everyone within it. So I think there comes from that, that comes from that bit of confusion around what does a team calendar actually do when you're dealing with Microsoft Teams and how does it include everyone? Because um, it's not an exclusion type thing and I think that's where they're trying to do the whole I just want these two people it's not based on that when it comes to a channel calendar which, which is one of the reasons why I think um it's it's so misunderstood of channel versus chat team. or individual and, yeah, it's and a team what calendar, happened, not a channel calendar mm. at, right and I think people have defaulted to using chats and one-on-one -on -one or or through email okay. not uh, you know not associated with the channel for meetings, that's just, mm -hmm. they defaulted to that. And then they're having to invite everybody every time. Yes. The whole purpose, I mean, it's the beauty of the model of a channel mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that we've done the permissions. These are all the people that need to be involved in this project. So anything we do within that channel will be seen by anyone that we've set up to have access to that channel by design. So. Yeah. If if I want to go, if I'm part of a project team or a number of different you know, teams with channels and all of those conversations going on, but I just want the three of us in, in a conversation or do a quick video, uh, a, a chat, something, a meeting, then I would do it through chat or I would do it through Outlook just with the meeting invite that's unassociated with any yeah. of the team. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that that's where that confusion It's like the difference between the me, the we, the us and the them in a business and trying to know, well, what sits in the me space to know when it comes to your Outlook calendar and your chat, the one-on-one -on -one, and things and information sits in your OneDrive, it sits in your personal space compared to having a team that you bring together. And then we get into the we space. So it sits in SharePoint and it sits, you know, so the you then get, space. yeah, we, yeah, oh, there we, yeah. so, you know, so it comes down to understanding that difference. <laughs> the, the me and the we. So, I, you know, I think that, um, you know, I mean, it's great to have the the team calendar. It's not a channel calendar. And I think that's where that wording confusion comes in. It's a team calendar, mm -hmm. not a channel. Um, but it's been added to your channel probably as a link. And it, it, I think the hard part would then be 
if you're wanting to have it sitting in the team and you're using an open calendar uh, and you want everyone to see it, but you don't want everyone to be included, then that's not the right place for you to be inviting from ultimately. Right. I mean, there's a lot of other ways of I mean, getting into the calendar side. Like, okay, if you want to, for your example, if you want to have a calendar that you want to share within a channel or different locations, multiple locations, you can go create that separately, like as a share, your SharePoint site, for example, and add it in as a tab so that it's viewable within that that project. I mean, there's a lot of ways you could do it to untether it from the mm -hmm. actual location, the, the team or the channel. Um, so it just depends on what you want to do. But But again, calendars, I wish there were easy answers for calendar questions. There are so many different <laughs> nuanced yeah. calendar types and places and rules around them. Mm -hmm. And and again, there's a we're joking because we're working on an ebook on that topic. So you know, someday <laughs> it'll be done. Great plug. One day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day. <laughs>